Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We are Thursday, November 2nd, 2023. I'm here to do a collective read for you guys. Before we start though, I do have a message for you for today and it's about karma. As we all know, it's been a theme lately. You know, vengeance is his. So this season, the theme has been about karma. What the Most High would like us to know, make us aware of, is that wishing or praying for karma to be enacted onto a, a person, a place, or situation is a double-edged sword for whomever, for all of us, okay? So if you're absolutely in, if you are absolute in your request for another to receive karma, be ready to receive yours as well, if you have any, okay? If you haven't paid up yet. Because only one of pure heart and debt-free shall receive their justice or their request. Your hands must be clean or else you're being a hypocrite. And sometimes that is what's holding up our justice. And I know it's a tough thing to hear right now because, you know, but it's, think about it. It's fair is fair, right? That's how the universe works. It's, it's balanced. They don't, they don't care who you are. They don't care what you've done. They, if you want balance, it has to be fair. So for true justice and balance, the scales must be balanced. And um, that's what we call universal law. Um, you cannot demand an accounting of another's books while yours have been neglected. And that's the message. And I know it's tough to hear. Okay? I mean, we all sin. We, we all have to atone for whatever. So, yes, sometimes we've done little things compared to what other people do to us, big things. But make sure you clear that debt up. Okay? In one way or another. Make peace with it. Make peace with someone else. Consult with the divine. Like I said, it's a double-edged sword. So you have to have your hands clean. Okay? If you want to make another one have to, you know what I mean, pay up. So, I mean, bottom line is the divine shall have vengeance. But it's on his own time. But if you want him to, to, to hear, you know, your petitions for vengeance, for justice, for karma. Make sure your hands are clean. Make sure you're willing to put in that work as well, okay? That's all I have to say. I'm not here to, to send anybody out or make you feel any worse than you already do because you've been through hell and back. I get it. That is not what I'm here to do. I'm just trying to make you understand why sometimes it takes a little longer to get what it is you're asking for, okay? It's only fair. It's only fair after all. So, uh, you know I don't use the signs. I don't use the genders because it's all energy anyways and it's a timeless read, Okay. Um, I will be using the he and she pronoun just to keep it straight in my head, no other reason. So if you have to switch the genders and or the roles, go right ahead. That's not a problem. Um, just remember, it's a general read. Not every read is going to be for you. So you must use your higher wisdom and discernment. So, oh boy, something, my phone's doing something weird. Sorry about that. Take what applies, toss the rest. Don't try to make things fit if it doesn't, okay? Please. I'll bring out the tarot cards. I'll give you the description of the card as well as what I'm picking up intuitively as it comes out. You know your story best. It could be all the descriptions, some, one, and or none. And then we bring it together at the end. Uh, please, if you haven't done so already, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, join this beautiful soul tribe. I would be truly honored if you did. For those who have, thank you so very much. I love you all. I truly do. Thank you for your support. Let's see what spirit has for us today. Spirit guides, guardian angels, and ancestors of light, light. What is the message for the collective for today? What would you like to discuss, please? We have the well watcher. I heard well, well, well. Wisdom, power of the divine, seven. Moving forward, that's the chariot. And tarot. You might be moving forward with something. It could be authorities coming in. I mean, like that bird, ostrich, emu, whatever it is, is stuck behind those bars. Maybe you're going to go visit somebody that's incarcerated. That owl indicates you're using your higher wisdom and or you're getting your downloads from the divine or from source. Um, it also, and owls represent endings, death. So you might be starting a new phase of your life. You're ending some previous cycles. Maybe you felt trapped in the, in the past. Now you're free. You found a way to free yourself, that's it. Or maybe you are being released from jail. Who knows? But something could have been... Stopped. Not moving forward at one point. Somebody didn't want to take accountability. It was out of control. There was no balance. Um, which way? We'll see which way it goes. This is the overarching energy, though. So somebody's tapping into their wisdom for sure. And 
yes, we all have wisdom. We gain wisdom through throughout, you know, time with, with life experience. Um, you can't just learn that. You have to experience it. That's what we call wisdom, right? And it's the lessons that teach us those, uh, those, those, those lessons. Uh, we gain wisdom through those lessons. But a lot of the wisdom, if you are a seer, if you are a healer, if you're in connection with the, with the divine, they'll download these codes in you. You have wisdom. Maybe it's from pre previous lives, uh, lives you've lived and or it's just from the divine himself. Um, and something will trigger them. Either it's a word, a situation, or a specific time. Who knows? Anything. It'll, you'll be triggered into taking action, into saying something, into remembering something. That's how it works, right? Bottom of the deck is the underlying energy. The diamond dream and material wealth, true prosperity, six. You're definitely tapping into your higher wisdom. Six is the lovers. That's using your higher wisdom. That's choice and and, and um, consequences, a card of... Doesn't matter what you ch you decide to do, what what choices you make, someone's going to get hurt here. Okay, it could be a choice of two, whether it's lovers or situations or making your mind up about something or someone. Um, you could be going towards a higher level soulmate connection. Doesn't have to be. It could be in the reverse, where it's a parting away. It's, it's a false contract. You're dealing with contracts. Uh, parting away is all one sided. Somebody was doing shit they shouldn't have done. Very karmic, right? And there's consequences. Like I said, so you could be coming into material wealth and true prosperity or somebody's putting on an act, you know, maybe they conjured up something and um, they can't put the genie back in the box, uh, in the bottle, if you know what I'm saying. Maybe they were getting some prosperity through magic and through devious means and now it's time to pay up, it's, you know, it's a contract. You get into a contract with a little stingy, that's what happens, right? The web weaver, and <laughs> I was thinking about this card last night. Synchronicity, divine intelligence, cause and effect. The divine's all over there, yes. Um, you see, four is the emperor. Emperor's a father. The divine is a father. Is considered as a father, right? Somebody's going into a leadership position, possibly bossing up. Somebody with power could be coming towards you or you are this person. But the divine spirit, you, you're all weaving a beautiful tapestry here, which I believe is going to serve. Uh, you're in service to the divine. It's going to serve the world. Um, it's all synchronistic. It's all happening, like I said, in the coast. Trip, trip, trip. You're going to be tripping these things, uh, memories, actions, people coming in and out of your life. It's going to be timed perfectly. Everything you do, there's a cause and effect. Just bear that in mind, whether you make it good or bad. Okay? And again, it kind of it goes with the karma of what we were talking about. What you put out in the world, you get back. Okay? So if you put a lot of good out in the world, this is your time to to get your dharma. Which is good karma, okay? If you put a lot of bad out in the world, well, this is your time. This is the time where the divine is weighing hearts. And I can't stress this enough. I, since I started my channel, that has been, you know, the theme. So what's your tapestry going to look like at the end of the day, good or bad? What have you done? What have you contributed to the world, to yourself? How much have you grown, right? Let's see. And, and the four in the reverse is corruption, abuse of power, abuse of authority. You know, all kinds of things that are not nice. It's all ego-based, wanting power and domination over another. Um, you know, tyrant, out of control. They want power and control, but they're out of control. They can't control themselves. It's like people in certain positions of power around the world. When you look at them, they have power positions. They're in control of vulnerable people, vulnerable people or huge amount of people. They can't even control themselves in their personal lives, okay? To the point where they get compromised. And so they are bought and paid for. They're little puppets on the string for the uh, for the old stinky one, if you know what I'm saying, right? 9-11 when I said that. Well, watch your seven. Why is this here for the collective, please? So watch what you do. Watch what you say. Uh, this is a massive lesson for a lot of people nowadays here. Faded to suffer, 25. Chariot yet again, 7-7. Seven, seven. That's protection, okay? So somebody's working out of their shadow or working in the dark here, trying to tempt people to do things or poison them, people against you or poison their minds or po them, their bodies, their souls, whatever. Whatever this is. In the reverse, somebody's out of control. You're moving forward. I don't know. So something to, moving forward with something. This is accountability, bringing back balance, radical acceptance. So something's going to happen. It's going to... 
it's no matter how you look at it, both and since both chariots, it's universally driven. Okay, you can't stop this, and I've said this to a few people since I started this. You can't stop this; it won't be stopped. No matter how hard you try, you're going to have opposition. You might get some pretty bad clap back. Could be a car accident here as well, right? So to re revenge. 20, 23 is 5. A high, you're dealing with a higher power, whoever this is. It could be a dark high priest. Have no faith. It could be a divorce, a separation, dealing with institutions, uh, belief systems, contracts. If somebody wants revenge against you for something. Obviously, they're working out of their shadow. They're working out of their ego, right? Atonement. Wow, this keeps popping up. Again, that's the four, right? It's the emperor. You bossed up. Somebody in the leadership position has got to tone for something. That's a lot of freaking swords in one person's back. A lot of people involved. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Right? Corruption, abuse of power, abuse of authority. I'm also picking up that somebody tried to sell you or sell information or get you involved in some sort of T-R-A-F-F-I-C or maybe I-C-K-I-N-G. Maybe they were involved in it, whether it's people, um, arms, um, you know, substances. I don't know. We'll see. Nasty, not, not nice affiliations, put it that way. Maybe this could be higher ups. This could be politicians. It could be somebody that shouldn't be dealing with this shit. I don't know. And somebody's working out of their shadow side, trying to buy people, tempt them, bribe them, blackmail them, cover ups, trying to forge their way ahead somewhere, whether it's high up in office somewhere or relationships, friend groups, anything, okay? Something in it for them. This is. Coffin, 19. 19 is the sun. It's the illumination here. Clarity, truth. Something's ended here. Maybe they wanted to take you out. Do you understand what I'm saying? Maybe they did in the past. Somebody that you know. 1 and 9 is a 10, so it's destiny. It's fate. It's gold diggers. It's cloud chasers. It's change. In the reverse, they tried to stagnate you. Slow you down for some reason. Slow your destiny down. Maybe they know you have something. You're somebody important. You are here for a reason. They're getting some clap back though, okay? That's harsh clap back. This is a reversal of fortune, a change of direction, and it is heavy duty karma, okay? You're closing out some cycles. You're beginning some new ones. So something's ended, whether it's a person, a situation, I don't know. Somebody could be ill, not very happy, doing stuff in the dark, the sun in the reverse. Yet again, there's no clarity. No clarity is coming through. It's elimination, like I said. Unexpected income, 27 at the bottom of the deck. That's a nine. That's a hermit. There's an investigation. People were hiding and cloaking. They didn't want to be seen. They, well, they didn't want what they were doing in the dark to be seen. A lot of hands got greased here. A lot of people involved. As you can see in this photo, this person's obviously affluent. By the way, you know, the, the clothing and the ring. This is somebody that's not very affluent. It's got a dirty hand, you know, maybe that does um, physical labor for a job. Maybe it's a homeless person. Who knows, right? It's very tattered clothing here. So they're paying off the, you know, people who really need the money to contribute, to help them do whatever it was they were doing in your community, whether it was gang stalking, whether it was other things, if you know what I'm saying. But you could be alone, isolated. Nine is the hermit, right? Uh, in, in direct um, connection with source. Using your higher wisdom. And if you are one person being ganged up upon um, from many, with higher ups, with a lot of money, making people do this, you know, uh, bribing people to do these things and to try to take you out, what's that say about your strength? What's that say about your anointing, your calling here? Um, when so many people are coming after you and they can't even touch you. even it, I don't know. I don't see it yet. What if they've done spell work on you and they still can take you out? What does that say? These people should take a second and think. Use that owl here. Use your higher wisdom. Start thinking. Things are already going tits up. Already going really, really bad in these people's lives. Stop what you're doing. 
Courtship has something to do with the courtship. You got to get an emperor for. Maybe you're the emperor. Maybe your emperor is coming into your life. It could be a female in this energy too. Somebody in a leadership position. You know what I'm saying? There's a journey here. 10, gold digger, cloud chaser, wheel of fortune. There's a message of concern. 14 is a temperance angel here about a child and a privileged lady. We'll see where this goes. It could go so many different ways. Everybody's stories are different. Um... Okay, yeah, I'm going to use this deck. I haven't used it in a, in a little bit, so well watch, yeah. Seven. Baited to suffer. 25. Coffin, 19. Why is this here? Give us some more clarity upon this, please, spirit. Let me see. Dragon, beware of self-delusion. So somebody is very deluded here that they can go up against, what, the divine? <laughs> Find out the hard way. Broken ring. Parting of the ways in either romance or business. So somebody's really seething. They're losing out. They were up to no good. Okay? They're being found out. Now they want revenge on you? They're the ones that were doing shit they shouldn't have been doing. Feather. Someone you know is under, undependable and insincere. Eagle. Triumph over troubles and obstacles. Congratulations. Haystack. Karma. What I tell you? You will reap what you have sown. Seahorse, family matters. Beetle, good fortune. Fair woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. Mice, of course. Discord among friends or family. Mice indicate that they were working against you behind your back, right? Steal, steal, steal. You know, when, that, uh, when you're in bed, they're in your cupboards, right? Fire, strong emotion, passionate, love or hate. Yoke feeling tied down or frustrated so what can I say tree affairs with your family yet again so this ham they're hammering at home it has something to do with your family or somebody's family right ink pop problems to be resolved and wreath sorrow over a loss something to do with July a birthday and or it took place in July or next July to get his supplies July is also because we did see the broken ring right this is either in romance or business. July, if you, uh, you know, I would imagine it's like this around the world. I don't know if it's like for sure or not. So uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but July is the end of a fiscal year, the beginning of a new one. So it has something to do with taxation possibly. So it could be somebody passed away and the taxes are due and some money was hidden or where's the rest of the money? I don't know. I'm picking up something like that, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, thank you, Spirit. They want me to use my deck. There's a couple more cards they want me to come up to explain more. Okay, thank you. Sorry, slippery cats. Slippery people. Well, watch your seven. <laughs> Faded to suffer 25, coffin 19, and dragon. Why? Why is this here, please? I'd rather be a dragon. Entitled. Don't want to be a sheep. Pop, 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 pop. Power hungry. Well. Wow. And we're at home, aren't we? Somebody's very, very rude. They were rude at a funeral. Oh, that reminds me of my niece's funeral. Damn, so maybe this is my story too. Low self-esteem. Distrust. Sexy. Accusations. Intelligent. Bribery. Apathy. Disrespect. Exploit. Doctor or healthcare worker. Serious illness. Surprise and epiphany, unemployed, and there's a windfall. So you're unemployed and you got all this money. What the fuck's going on? You got all these things. What the fuck's going on? Mm. It might have something to do with taxes. Good old taxes, right? Yeah, no. So many people. Yeah, I know. I see it online all the time. Especially here in, in tarot world, right? With everybody's doing um, readings on various situations, right? And it's heartbreaking, yes. A lot of people wanting justice because a lot of injustices have been done. Uh, you know, people breaking the law against another, harming another. And the police don't seem to want to do too much. You know, they're getting lazy. A lot of loopholes. People getting bribed. Turning the other way. They want to pay attention. Blah, blah, blah. But it seems to me, you want to get somebody and get them good. Taxes. If they owe the fucking government, that's when they're going to take some action, right? Just ask Al Capone. <laughs> Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of the white light. 
Good as a pattern. Wise Well Watcher here, number seven. Faded to Suffer, 25. 19 Coffin, Dragon, and Entitled. I'm picking up the Order of the Dragon. So maybe that's why they feel entitled. I, I belong to a, frat a fraternity. Good for you. The Son of Cups in the Upright. Multiple options. This is bribery, blackmail. Oh no, this is, uh, the illusions are over. This is in the reverse. Whew. Party's over. I'm running out of options, don't have a choice. Everybody sees the emperor has no clothes. <laughs> illusions, illusions, illusions. Ending the confusion. Congratulations. What you put out in the world is what you get back. Thank you, spirit. This has something to do with a family and an inheritance. Long-term stability, long-term relationships. Maybe it's a generational wealthy family we're dealing with. I don't know. It doesn't have to be wealthy, wealthy. I mean, it could be somebody with a lenia, um, a legacy um, of some sort. We'll see. Ten of Pentacles in the upright. Bottom of the deck. Walking away, walking away. Eight of Cups in the upright. Throwing away the key. I only got the wrong key. So somebody's walking towards those mountains, right? Because uh, wherever they've been, there was no emotional fulfillment or happiness. They invested eight out of ten cups just to find out there's nothing in those cups but, but backwash. So they're walking away, facing the unknown. They know they're going to be facing some hardships. No emotional fulfillment or happiness. Cutting their losses, I suppose. Four swords went to heal. Contemplate, pray. Put something to rest. I think they went to heal. If you're dealing with, a, um, just say it's a narcissistic family, greedy family, whatever, you know. Or a large amount of money or something. You know? There's a lot of stress here. A lot of hurt. I'm picking up. Maybe it's a black sheep of the family, you know. Been there, done that, got different. I'm also the middle child, so... <laughs> Yeah, no, anybody in that situation knows. Whoopsie. Somebody's coming with a cup of love or some sort of show of support. Or somebody was supporting somebody that, I don't know, let's see. There's an offer coming through, though. They were giving their love to someone they shouldn't. Supporting somebody they shouldn't. Somebody that wasn't working. So somebody came in that wasn't working, gave their cup of love to somebody. Could be a family, legacy, money. Could be business. It doesn't have to be family. You're dealing with a large amount of money, somebody has to walk away or they're giving their cup of love. Something's not worked, working out. Somebody didn't put the effort in. I think they were just giving their support or the cup of love to another. Didn't put their effort in. If it's work, they're losing their job here because they were fraternizing, I guess. Yeah, this is um, two of cups. It's a partnership here. Didn't put the effort in. This is a soulmate connection, whether it's friend, family, foe. <laughs> foe, no. Friend, family, or love. They didn't put the effort in. They were be busy fraternizing with other people. Now they're, they want to come back in from out of the cold here. They're, they're out of lack and a loss. They're losing, they've lost confidence. Maybe they're losing their health as well because they were with a Queen of Wands. Look at that. They've lost everything. Queen of Wands is really somebody that's not a nice person, male or female. Or they. this is them. This, they wound up with this or this is them. Very jealous, very abusive, uh, promiscuous. Could be doing some black magic here. Yeah. It's like show of force here. That big ego. Lots of lust. You know, strength in the upright. They're jealous. Page of Cups in reverse. Forced into a marriage or commitment with somebody because of a child. The child turned out not to be theirs, maybe. This is somebody that's very um, emotionally manipulative. Uh, yeah. Let's see where its weight goes, shall we? So this is a... They didn't put the effort into a soulmate connection or a partnership. It doesn't have to be love, like I said, okay? They're busy giving their allegiance if it's business and or friend and or support to someone else or something else. If it's love, they were giving their cup to other people. What can I say? 
King of Pentacles in the upright. So somebody stable and secure. They were with somebody that was stable and secure. Very grounded, generous, successful. Didn't work out that way though, right? This could be a husband card as well. Doesn't have to be, but yeah, this is um, there's going to be some communication coming through here. Page of Wands in the upright. Someone stood their ground, or they're going to be standing their ground. Someone's very inspirational. This is something new, starting something new. Somebody wants to. I think somebody gave somebody else their walking papers here. I got maybe if it's business, I got somebody else in mind I want to work with. This is um, some good news coming through, or, or some message coming through. Take it as applies. Nine of Pentacles, yeah, maybe it's not so great. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody might be, I don't know, somebody's not sta uh, unstable. Um, somebody that's living a life of luxury off of somebody else's back or somebody's very insecure. They're insecure about contacting you. There could have been a crime or a, a financial crime committed against you. Somebody lied. They spread rumor, gossip, and slander. They're stalking you. Maybe it's cyber... Um, maybe they, they um, hacked your your finances or something. Wire fraud. So somebody's got to call, contact you, okay, about this. Uh, maybe they want to ask you to partner up with them. Take it as applies. Seven of Pentacles. Uh, they want to invest in you. You're planting seeds are now growing, okay? Your harvest is coming in, okay? Your bounty, you're, you're going to be bountiful here. Somebody wants to invest in you. This could be also evidence and proof as to what happened. If somebody stole your money, you're going to lose their job here, okay? Or they tried to steal your money, take it as supplies, okay? They partnered up to do this behind your back, I don't know. Somebody's got to own up to it, okay? They underestimated you. Devil in reverse, you saw through the illusions. You're not tied or bound to anything. You're not toxic. You de you detached. Hmm. Ten of Swords. There was a, a there Ten of Swords in the upright. This is a this was a betrayal. But on the other hand, I think maybe you might, it's been, it's been a while since this betrayal took place or it's been going on for a long time. So things are unfreezing. Maybe some assets have been frozen or they're going to be frozen. I don't know. You take it as applies. Some assets have been sitting there untouched though. Lovers in reverse. So this is a false contract. Parting away is a one-sided deal. There's truth and clarity here. So maybe you, let's see. If it's the inheritance, they, they place this money, your money, okay? Your portion of this inheritance somewhere, whether it's in a, a bank account, um, a safety deposit box. They can't access it for some reason. I think somebody died that had the key or had access to it, and they cannot get in it to get that money. And they're going to be found out now. It's just a matter of, I think it's already done, but I think what happened was if it's in a bank account, the, the banks are going, why isn't this money moving? Why isn't it transferred fully? Why isn't it been accepted on the other end? Why, you know, why is it still sitting here, you know, in the in-between? It's a large amount of money. That's suspect, right? Yeah, the hermit. They, they're hiding and cloaking. They don't want to be investigated. I think there's an insider at the bank. Okay. Your family had an insider at the bank to do this, to divert these funds. And I think they got caught. Ten of cups. In the reverse. Wow. You're ending this cycle. They tried to scapegoat another. Somebody's not happy. This is the end of a family or group. <clears throat> Pardon me. Somebody's slinking away here. Dad, don't shine the light on me. And that's so funny because speaking of banks, yesterday, you know, I paid my rent. I pay online. The minute I pay my rent, and I've never had a problem until now. The minute I pay my rent a certain amount, oh, my, my candle blew out. It might have something to do with it. Don't shine the light on me. 
my I, I press send blah 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 two seconds later not even I get a war I get a text from my supposed bank saying that it's wire fraud fraudulent activity in my account for the same amount that I sent to my landlord uh, if this was you press Y for yes press N for no and I know enough not to press jack shit so if this is this is just a word of advice for you guys public safety announcement if you get anything like that do not press anything call your bank and that's what I did but the number that I and this goes to show you I know that my phone's hacked they're interfering into my with my phone it took me a long time just to get through to my bank which is unusual both with the 1-800 number and the local number I finally get through to the bank and when I'm, I look at my phone it doesn't say my bank name on my phone it says a different name isn't that odd so they weren't too smart and then the guy that I was talking to, well, he didn't seem too knowledgeable, um, didn't ask me the, the proper questions a bank would ask you for to get into your accounts, blah, blah, blah. So I knew something was up. And he goes, yes, you must press those buttons if you want that pay payment to go through to your landlord. And I go, no, I don't. So I... I I was on the phone with him for like half an hour. I was fucking around waiting on, you know, on, on, on waiting and then finally got him on the phone for, it was about half an hour. My time was getting annoyed. So I hung up. I canceled the, the money and then I resent it. And he goes, oh, that won't happen again. That was just a fluke. So I'm going, why did it happen the minute I sent that money? I've never had this problem. There was nothing fraudulent. Why? I want to know if you guys are doing it or if it's my phone or both, right? No, no, that won't happen again. So I send the money. I resend it. And I, I send it. I, I didn't hear back from my landlord, but I, I asked her, did you get, verify if you got the payment? Shortly afterwards, because yeah, I got the payment, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, afterwards, what happens? I get another one, a fraudulent activity upon your account. Press, you know, Y and no, or Y and, y and M. So I know, I know. They wanted to get in my fucking account. They done fucked up again. <laughs> Do you know something? I have not paid my credit card off in I don't know how long. Somebody else is paying it off because they got it in my account, right? They don't want to. They don't want the alarm bells to go off. So I'm letting them pay off my credit card. They're doing the pay bare minimum, but eventually they're they're tripping up. You know, it's obvious. So five of swords. Yeah, this is, they don't want to let go of this. This is going to be embarrassing and disgraceful. I think um, they've been hanging on by just a thread here. Two of wands. Somebody's moving forward here. That a grudge. Of, I think they'd be grudging. They'd have to move forward with something. They, they can't block you. They don't want to be blocked or something here you're divinely protected you're innocent you're balanced this could be balanced this is a uh, wish fulfillments coming through because they committed an injustice against you and you knew it you just bid your time you know you healed you took this time to heal you weren't in a hurry to get your money you knew what was going on and you knew it was going to be even better than it was you know supposed to be I mean, you cooperate with the divine. He tells you, sit tight. Just sit tight. Wait. I'm going to show you some miracles. I say, okay, Father. I'm going to work on me. I'm going to maybe open a channel or follow my dreams or, you know, do what I like to do hobby-wise. You know, just take a load off while you do what you do. They're praying. That's what it is. They're praying that something's gone through. That they can get past something or move forward with something. They are praying. It's over. It's online. They're praying something went through online. I did go through online. <laughs> this world be upright. End of. Ending a cycle here. Lessons learned. You're protected. They can't get through your protections. Online and, I mean, 3D, online and spiritually. They can't get through to you. They can't even come near you. They got to give up. They're angry. It's too challenging. Uh-oh. Spaghetti, yo! Secrets are coming out. High Priestess in reverse. They were talking mad shit about you, too. They were doing magic. I sensed it. They were doing magic on you. Pardon me. They were greedy. 
you're stable and secure. They're trying to make it look like this money's theirs. They don't want to let go of this money. I'm making money off their money. Oh, I'm living a life of, yeah. So they're praying 4-4 four, four here. The angels are all over it. You've been taking care of yourself. They've been providing for you. You're stable and secure. You're resting. You're healing. They're contemplating and praying right now because they're in the five of cups in reverse. They're in a dark place. They don't know what to do. Yes, two of swords because you're speaking some truths here. About all these lies, about the magic, about all the bullshit they were doing in the background. It's coming out. They're in fear, okay? If they tried to say you were crazy, you're speaking your truth. You have so, so maybe a platform somewhere where people can see you or they have seen you. You're not crazy. You're quite sane. If there was a stalemate, there isn't any longer. You're not mentally conflicted. You are speaking your truth. Writing's on the wall for these people, okay? There's a lot of illusions here. They're in, they're, they're in fear here. There we go. This is Ruin, Five of Pentacles. Be careful who you play. It's like that old, you know, the story in the Bible. Be careful who you entertain. You don't know who the hell you're dealing with in the 3D and or the 5D. You don't know who's protecting whom in the 5D in the 3D. You can't just look at anybody and say, oh, I, yeah, no problem. They're a simp. <laughs> okay. They won't know what I'm doing. No, you can't do that. But my candle just went out. Lights out for these people. <laughs> Four ones in reverse. This is an establishment that's been around for a long time. It's going to get hurt. Somebody going to get hurt around here. The party's over. This is instability. Losing business. Losing homes. Losing family. Yep, the emperor in reverse, corruption, abuse of power, and abuse of authority. It's all ego, power and control. Me, 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 me. Well, they're out of control. Okay, somebody's losing their crown. Three of Wands. They were plotting and planning, okay? Against you. Corruption, maybe T R A F F I N I C K I N G. Okay, maybe they're pl plotting and planning to maybe send you off somewhere. You know what I'm saying? To get rid of you. Make you s not not here anymore, but that's not gonna work. Yep, five of wands. This is comp. This is chaos. It's a lot of chaos. Five of wands in the upright. A lot of people involved. Competition, conflict, jealousy, rivalry, drama. Oh dear. Again, it's corruption, right? Dark high priest doing magic. Hierophant reverse. False contracts, losing in a court of law, dealing with institutions that are going to go down. Bad advice. Didn't listen to advice. Under judgment. Now, this is awareness. Everybody's going to be made aware of this. It's a wake-up call for somebody. This And this deck is really weird because you see a little child here and then you see a, a, a skull. So this means the difference between... Oh, I get it. Thank you. So this is bringing in, uh, ushering a new day. This is for the next generation. The old is gone, okay? The old way is gone. This is healing now. This is new. We're bringing in the new. Get ready for the new ages. The old is gone. It's done with, okay? It's death. So the angels have blown the, the, the horn, the trumpets. This is a wake-up call for some, spiritual awakening for others. They have to take accountability here, okay? This is karma. They might come to, towards you and ask you to help them get out of trouble, alleviate some of the punishments, but you can't. You know, this, they've been doing this for a long time. Knight of Pentacles in the upright, they have to take accountability. They tried to slow you down. This was your rite of passage, okay? You got tested. This is a big test for you, and you passed. Chosen, uh, uh, chosen. I just heard you got chosen, elected. I don't know what the what this you know what the terminology is, but the divine has got his his um his star. You made it to the end because the the only out of the four nights, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night, but it's the one with the integrity, the loyalty, the honesty. They're very careful. They do their homework. They're very um, practical, dependable, and reliable. Right. They take accountability, and it's their right. It's their right to make it to the end here. And they're all they're always tested. 
The Knight of Pentacles is always under some sort of test. And that's for the Divine does. Here's another Knight. Knight of Wands. Taking action here. It could be two Knights. A competition between two Knights. <laughs> Taking some action. Something's happening quickly. Somebody could have been too impulsive. Um, they have to take accountability for their actions. That's what these two cards are saying. It's now moving forward. Maybe it was at a standstill. Like it was... Like molasses, now it's, it's just picking up some speed. If I'm waiting, it's, it's time. It's time. Yeah, somebody's not happy here. It's done in the reverse. Yeah, they were doing stuff in the dark. Somebody's not happy here. Because it's a tower in the reverse. It's ruined. Okay. It's never going to be revisited again. This is something where I, I believe it has something to do with some sort of institution, a way of life. Um... Maybe it's lies that the community or the public has been told throughout the years from higher ups. It's coming down. So a system of some sort, it's coming down. Okay. It's karma. Page of Cups. Something to do with children. Loss of children. Um, being excluded, rejected. Um, manipulations of some sort. I do know that what we're ushering in now, we're going into the new, new, right? That's what the divine is doing, is bringing it about. It's a beautiful thing. But first, before he can act, enact any of that, he's got to tear down the existing ways, right? Existing regime, let's say. And that's going to be painful, but it must be done. Again, it's children, right? Paternity, maybe it has something to do with wards of the state. I don't know. It could be even on a personal level. It doesn't have to be on a grander. Yeah, this is Empress in reverse. Bad mothers, bad fathers. I don't know. Healing that inner child wounding because of bad parenting, because of addictions, because of whatever. Chaos, right? This is Empress in reverse. It's very chaotic. Greedy, selfish, self absorbed, um, possessive, promiscuous. But I'm picking up children and women being used as sexual. See, that's a sexual card as well. Plop. T-R-A-F-F-I-C-K-I-N-G. I, I was right. There we go. Yeah, imbalance here. Temperance in reverse. Addictions. Going to extremes. Inappropriate behavior with women and children. Predominantly, and men are put in those positions too, but it's predominantly women and children. Let's face it, right? Uh, it's predominantly, I mean, women are involved in this, but it's predominantly men. And I'm not putting you men down. You beautiful men out there in the spiritual community, okay? You wouldn't be so spiritual if you were doing shit like that. So I'm not putting you guys down, okay? But this has got to stop. It's, it's bringing an imbalance to the world and it's causing an imbalance. The divine has counted each and every tear, by the way, and they're going to have to pay for each and every tear they've inflicted. Death. These people are sick. They're unstable. They're dealing in drugs. They're dealing in vice, corruption, right? And that's the wheel. That is the universe bringing about. This is karma, change, divine timing. It's about time. Somebody manifested and co-created with the divine to bring it up for a new age, a new beginning, a new age, a new dawn, a new day. This is going to be truth and transparency, a new beginning, okay? That sword is now coming out of that stone. Somebody's got the power, was given the power. This is going to be a spiritual leader coming through here, okay? I got goosebumps. Somebody with nobility. They have the right to rule. Given to them right from the divine. They have morals and ethics and they protect and defend. They do what's right. And they're a fierce warrior. And people are heartbroken over this now, okay? The heartbreak is what did it. Okay, it's coming in fast now. Seven of Cups. People are going to see the truth here. How many people got their, their hands greased? How many people are involved in this bullshit? And they're going to have to take accountability. Well, Watcher. There we go. The universe is bringing this about. It's a seven. It's a chariot, right? Universally driven. You cannot stop it. Wisdom. Power of the divine. You're being stopped. And reverse the chariot. And reverse the stop. You don't want to take accountability, they're going to have to. The Diamond Dreamer, Material Wealth, True Prosperity. Well, they made their choices, didn't they? Six is lovers, right? They were probably calling up all kinds of entities to help them do what they do, to you know, cast spells on people, to make them forget, to make the, 
put down their will so they wouldn't fight, do all kinds of stuff, cast spells on people to get them to drink and do drugs, things that they don't normally do, or give the, you know put them in a lustful situation, all kinds of stuff. Trust and believe they do do that. But there's consequences to this, okay? Material wealth and true prosperity, well, it's not theirs. They're going to lose their wealth. Material wealth is what? Having the divine in your court. Stra uh, straightening this all up and bringing things back to balance in this world where everybody's going to have true wealth and prosperity, not just a few at the top. They were acting out of their, their shadows here. Poisoning people, poisoning the world. Tempting, tempting, tempting. So 25, again, it's the chariot. They've been stopped. Moving forward, universally driven. Revenge, higher powers involved. Revenge is his. Vengeance is his. They're no longer part of the tree of life. They're not going to be in the book of lambs and or um, in the book of life, whatever you want to call it. Their names will not be there. They've been excised. They will suffer the second death. It's all for unexpected income. Okay, they're being investigated. They're being cloaked. They were trying to cloak themselves, greasing people's palms. Don't tell, don't tell. It's over now. 19 is the sun. This is illumination. It's a new dawn, a new day. This is happiness, bringing back healing. Truth. It's so sorely missed. And for all those that have been gone missing and or have lost their lives to these sorts of situations, justice is here. Not that it's going to bring these people back or erase the pain, but it does give some sort of closure, okay? They're taking some action here. This is coming right from the top, as above, so below. It's been manifested, okay? These people felt entitled to do and hurt and take. You were power hungry. So whatever this was, a broken ring, so it, you know, it's a crime ring. Parting the way is either romance or business. It's done. Dragon, beware of self-delusion. There you go, right? These people are fucking rude. They prey on the homeless. They make you homeless and then they take you off the streets. Now they're worried. I haven't been lying. I've been saying this for a while. Hidden motives no longer hidden. Psychic divulged it. They're under pressure now because, well, what now? <laughs> Now they're going to try to take it out on the psychic? I suggest you don't, boneheads. No, 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 because no, you're being watched. You can't use that in more time to your fucking sentences. What deck, please? Thank you. They want me to use this deck. I haven't used it in a while, so... Let's see what they have to say here to end this reading. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, the white light. How are we ending the read for today? What's the parting message here for the collective, please? Let's make it a doozy. Thank you. 21, it's over. It's the world. It's going to be on the news. People are going to have to are going to start using their heart chakras more. They're going to open up some heart chakras. Learn to love. Once, have compassion for another. I mean, today's world is so cold. People's hearts are closed. But yeah, this is over. You could be traveling. Um, this is protection as well. This, this is good. It's victory. 16 in reverse. Told you the tower's coming down. It's ruined. Seven and re it adds to seven, one and six. Chariot reverse stopped. Can't go any further. <laughs> wow, 11. It was an injustice, okay? And one, one in reverse. That's the high priestess saying the secrets. She's been bid by the high pre uh, by the most high to come out with it. She's got a lot of secrets, but in time, in due time, okay? When the when the high the Most High says it's time, then she says. And even if they waterboarded her or tortured her or punished her in any kind of way to get any kind of info, she won't be able to tell you because she doesn't remember. It's only activated when the Most High says, right? So 21. Consanguinity. Some people feel like family, whether they share our blood or not. Friends can be even closer than kin because you're drawn together by common interests and values. Who are those people in your life? Are you giving them enough time and attention? Reach out to your soul sister or brother. Trust them with your innermost hopes and fears. You've been keeping things bottled up inside you for too long. You're not alone. In the light aspect, make close affinity alliances in every realm of your life. Feel safe enough to do so. Do that healing. Make sure there are, you're on the same frequency, the same level, though, as these people. So if you're part of this spiritual community, 
dollars to donuts. We're all on our own timeline in terms of uh, healing and elevating, but we could understand, right? Um, but if somebody's still in their karmic or in their shadow, you won't be able to relate to them. So, but the divine is saying it also has two or three. Uh, it could be a divine feminine dealing with a divine feminine mother and or pregnancies, um, mothers and children, right? It's okay to, to to reach out and to love and to open up that heart, okay? To talk about what hurt you. It's okay. You're safe. You're safe. It's the only way you can heal from it is by talking about it, okay? And I know it's scary. Some people have gone through this and survived these things. And my heart goes out to you. And I'm not trying to trigger you in any way right now, okay? But some, at some point, I want you to feel safe enough to tell your story. Safe enough to cry, to scream. Because this is your story. I wish that you have the people that will sit here, listen to you, understand you, not judge you, and let you get it all out. And then hold you at the end. That's what I wish for each and every one of you. 16 reverse expedition adventure awaits put your everyday life in the rear view mirror mirror and head out to uncharted territory whatever box you've stuffed yourself into it's time to break out a hear here new friends and new experiences will freshen your perspective on life you'll find inspiration when you strike out new directions if you've been stifling your need for freedom for a long time you could feel a bit giddy at the prospect of doing exactly what you want and in the dark aspect don't give in to impulsiveness and irresponsibility don't skip out on your obligations so you might feel giddy because things are changing things are going to be easier you're going to get some justice um don't do things that might compromise you or might make you feel kind of horrible the next day. You know what I'm saying, right? Ah, you know. We're all adults here. You know. You know what's best for you now and you know what's not. 11. Improvisation. Don't worry if you don't have a solid plan for how to proceed. Many things are actually better when they develop spontaneously, organically, playfully. Let each step of the process lead you onward to the next. This can refer to a project, an adventure, a relationship, or whatever else you're fretting about at the moment. Rather than scrambling to gather everything all at once and make it perfect, improvise with what you have on hand and allow room for serendipity. In the reverse, it's the worst that could happen is that you will learn something. So, I don't know. There's something that you're going to be doing, something maybe you're afraid to do, but you, you have to do as a result of this coming out. Maybe you're the one that's going to bring it out in the open somehow. Maybe you have proof. I don't know. But it's going to be good. Scary, but good. I mean, I mean, that's what life is, right? It's, it's two sides to every coin. Uh, let's get one more just to close this out. Is something scary. Maybe you're going to have to be on the news or something. I don't know. Be interviewed or something. I don't know. But you're going to find a new... A new soul circle, new family, you know what I mean, it's, it's beautiful, it's brilliant, maybe you're going to work in this somehow, you know, you've got talent somewhere, uh, I think what the divine's doing is he's going around the world and colla um, collaborating, yeah, okay, it's for a collaboration, but picking out the ones that he wants to collaborate to usher in a new cycle, you know, and now, you don't have to have educations. No, you don't have ha have expertise. As I've said before, okay? He doesn't choose the qualified. He qualifies the chosen. There's a difference. You don't walk around with your nose up in the air thinking you're better than anybody else. No, you're all on the same page and everybody's equal. You're here to do a job for the betterment, betterment of all. Okay? How are we ending this week? Please, spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, won't wait. So we have protect your dreams. Uh, you're the guardian of your precious dreams and they're safe in, in your care. Keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them. Like I said, the downloads from the divine for the high priestess. She doesn't come out with it until the divine says it's time. So protection, you are tro totally protected here. Uh, the fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. Okay, so 
uh, if you're not sure how to do that, look it up online uh, on Google for um, various ways to protect yourself spiritually, okay, against psychic attack attacks, okay, or burnout or draining. Inspiration, be prepared as you'll soon receive a visit from the Fairy of Inspiration. Come dusk or dawn, she can call at any time. So be ready. I think you are. I think this is exciting. I feel the excitement. My, my belly's got the butterflies. It's it's new. It's rare. Very rare. I don't know if there's been, ever been a time like this. Possibly. Nothing's new under the sun from what I hear, but this is new. It's beautiful. I hope this helps. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, and I love you. I'm sending you a grateful he healing. Uh, and until next time, take care.